Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be looking at the latest individual poll from all of my battleground states that I have conducted based on my presidential election model simulation. Make sure to go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. Now, just a disclaimer, I've actually left Hawaii blank despite it not being in a battleground status according to my forecast, and there is a very important reason for this, and you guys will see it in just a second. The state of Oregon, Biden leads by 11 points in the latest poll. This is a very blue state, a large, you know, black population, a lot of progressives here. Uh, my election model actually has this a little bit closer than that. He's actually ahead. Um, Biden's only ahead in Oregon by 5.8%, according to my model. However, as of right now, the latest poll does show Biden ahead by 11 points in Oregon. The next state is going to be the state of Nevada, where Biden actually won that state by about 2.4%. But the latest poll has Trump up by five points, and he's actually leading the aggregate by 5.3. So we're going to be putting that in the likely Republican column. Arizona, another state that Biden won, you know, it was very competitive. However, Biden was actually able to lose ground here, and Trump's actually ahead by eight in the latest poll with third-party candidates included. That's how I do these polls. I do it with the third-party candidate polls because those are going to reflect the real results more since all the third party party candidates will pretty much be present i kind of expect rfk to get on most ballots so for the sake of the video and a political analysis i am using all of the third party matchup polls colorado there was biden won the state by a lot and even though i have it a lot closer than what people are thinking the latest poll does have it as a 10 point win i currently have it as a four point victory for the incumbent president i'm actually expecting biden to lose the popular vote by 7.2 percentage points and what we're going to be looking at here is now new mexico we have a similar story my forecast has it flipping to donald trump actually because of the large hispanic shift nationwide however polling does not reflect this it actually has it as around an eight point victory in the state as of right now so that's currently what we're looking at in this projection so biden's going to be leading that aggregate there by eight points hawaii the reason why i've left it blank is because trump's internal you know the latest poll out of hawaii has biden up by six points in a head-to-head -head, and trump leads in the state of hawaii in an internal even though this is a trump internal the fact that biden is down in a poll in hawaii is absolutely that's just not good that like people are like oh well it's a trump internal but biden led the polls here by like 40 points he let the polling aggregate by like 38 points on election day and won it by 30 and now on average biden's actually within the margin of error in hawaii in the polling aggregate my aggregate is a biden lead of two and a half points in the state of hawaii just to let you guys know so that is a very bad sign for him. We're going to be putting that in the lean Republican column due to the latest poll as of right now. Georgia is the next state on this map. We clearly see that in Georgia, Donald Trump is leading here by 5.2%. The latest poll from a very liberal pollster, by the way, which was conducted right after the conviction, has Trump up by six. And this is a pollster that had Biden up by like five in Pennsylvania the other month. Like it, they have really bad polls, but. They still have Trump up in Georgia by six. So that's a, probably a sign that Biden is really, really messed up in Georgia. The state of Illinois, you know, this state is very interesting because it's somewhat, you know, closer. But Biden is still ahead by 10 points in the latest poll, kind of similar to Colorado. So we're going to be putting that there in New Jersey. Once again, that poll that has Biden only ahead by five. That is the main poll that we have so far out of the state. So we're going to be putting that in the likely Republican column. And in Delaware, we can go ahead and look at it. Right now, there's only cross tabs here, but we do see Biden is at 46, Trump's at 36, so we can classify that in the likely Democrat column. That puts him at 192 electoral college votes. Now, if we look at the state of Virginia, this is an interesting one. The latest poll from Fox News actually has the race tied, and with third-party candidates, Trump's actually down by one point only. So we're going to be putting that in the lean Democrat column. That gets Biden to 205 electoral votes. In the state of New Hampshire, you know, we're going to be looking at that. And that has Biden up by three in the latest poll with third party candidates included. So we're going to be putting that in the lean Democrat column. Now, just to preface something right now, Donald Trump leads in the state of Virginia, according to the decision desk HQ 
aggregate. So Trump in the average of polls is ahead in the state of Virginia, which is just absolutely insane to even think about. And not only is he up there, we're going to see the other state where he's also up in Maine at large. He is also up in this one as well. He's also up in the state of Maine. He is currently up here by a pretty significant amount. We actually got a new poll from April that actually shows us that when you include third party candidates, Trump is actually ahead by one percentage point in the state of Maine. As of right now, that puts the state in the lean Republican column for this video. Trump's already at 274 because he's got Maine and he's got Hawaii. We have the last three Rust Belt state. Nebraska's second. The latest poll here, I believe, does actually have this as a Biden state because the latest poll does have Biden up by five and that's with it being a Republican internal. Now, that may be a little bit off and a district that small may be hard to pull, but the fact Biden's up there by a lot and a Republican internal may not be a good sign for Republicans in it, that's in that district. And we have the last four states, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Minnesota. Minnesota, as of right now, Trump also took the lead in the aggregate there as well. He actually took the lead according to Decision Desk HQ. And the latest poll from basically today has Trump up four points with third-party candidates included. He's up four percentage points with third party candidates included. So in the latest poll, he's up in Minnesota by four. This is obviously the Trump internal, but the fact, here's the thing, guys, with the third party candidates in April to May, Trump was tied with this. He was tied here. He was tied. Now with third party candidates by the same pollster a month later, he's up four. So even though it's a Trump internal, that's still not a great sign. That is not a good sign at all. That is not a great sign whatsoever. That is not good. Even with third party candidates in this poll from Minnesota, Biden basically maintains his lead in Survey USA. It's practically the same. That's a poll from early May. So that is a really bad sign for Joe Biden in the state. Oh, that's a really bad sign for him. In Wisconsin, Trump leads in the aggregate very narrowly. The, the latest poll does actually have it as a tie with third party candidates, which is really interesting. And it's a poll from June 5th to the 10th. So I guess we're going to be putting that in tilt Republican column. It could go either way since it is an even poll. We can't really deduce, but for the sake of the video, since Trump up, it's Trump is up in the aggregate. Since he's up here, I'm going to give him the state as a tilt Republican state. If we go to Michigan, we're going to see in that state, Trump's up by 0.5 in the aggregate. And the latest poll with third party candidates from June 3rd has Trump up one in the state. So that goes in the lean Republican column. And then we have the state of Pennsylvania, which is the final state for this video. Trump is up by 1.5 in the latest poll with third party candidates included from Maris Collar, which is a very liberal pollster, by the way. Trump is up two points. So at the end of this video, Donald Trump ends up with 328 electoral college votes with Virginia within the margin of error. New Hampshire within the margin of error. He's leading in the Rust Belt. He leads in Hawaii and Maine at large. And he's up with 328 electoral college votes as of right now. This is a big sign that President Trump is definitely gaining momentum after the conviction. And this is after the conviction. Trump is leading in a, in a poll in Hawaii after the conviction. So this is just absolutely insane for the former president. This is a very great sign for his campaign. Again, doesn't necessarily mean he could win these states. I have them forecasted, but the fact he's leading in the latest individual polls, like if you would have done this video for Biden four years ago, he'd probably be leading in Florida. There may be a chance he would have been leading in an Ohio poll. He could have been leading in a North Carolina poll. All of these would have been likely like it would have been a bad map for Trump if we would have done those videos back then. And so that is it for this video. This is what the latest individual poll from every single state is showing as of right now, at least in the battleground states that matter. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.